Hi everybody, it's Sherry Truler here with Red Apple Auctions. It is mid-August, which means that back in Kansas, where I'm from, the kids are already back in school. Out here on the East Coast, they tend not to go back to school until September. But what does this mean if you are a school auction chairperson? It means you need to get busy. This is your day in the sun. This is your time to get all the troops together, get everybody marching together for your auction that's going to be taking place either later this fall or early next spring. It's time to get organized. So what I wanted to do is give you three pointers, well not really pointers, three things you need to put on your to-do list in order to make sure that you're going to have a successful school auction fundraiser. So first off, you want to plan introductions. Hopefully over the course of the summer you had a chance to fill a few of your key roles. That might be your procurement committee chair, it could be your invitation chair, it could be your check-in or check-out person. You've probably got some key roles filled. Great! You want to pull them together along with some other people who have expressed an interest in the auction and get them to talk, get them introduced to each other, let them know who's doing what, who they should talk to if they've got a question about XYZ. You want to create a structure with those meetings. Very often with my school auctions, they're either meeting right after they drop the kids off at school or they're meeting in the evenings. Hey, it's not a bad idea to include food or beverages along with those meetings. There's been many meetings I've been a part of that had bagels or donuts or if it's in the evening, a glass of wine. All of it's good. It's always nice to entice your volunteers with some food. But you do want to get everybody together, plan those introductions, make sure that everybody is organized because I will tell you what, Everybody is much more likely to raise their hand and say, yeah, I'll volunteer if you, at the top, appear like you know what you're doing. And organization is a key part of that. Number two, actively recruit. Chances are your school may have some sort of a back-to-school carnival, maybe it's a football game, back-to-school night where all the parents get to meet the other parents and so forth. If you've got something like that, I encourage you to go ahead and set up an auction table. Put a couple of your outgoing volunteers over there, have them talk about the auction, because you're going to have to have some extra people there to fill roles. Maybe you haven't already filled some of your key roles. Maybe you still need to do that. Maybe you want to get some new parents involved. You know, the first grade parents don't necessarily know the seventh grade parents. So this is an opportunity for, for you to start recruiting and get all of those positions filled. Actively recruit, number two. And number three, you want to schedule appointments with your key personnel. So this could be your development director or your special events manager if you're at a private school. Most of our public schools don't have those positions. Very often the auction chair is one of those volunteer committees that's underneath the PTA. So if you have any appointments that you need to schedule with the PTA, maybe a liaison, or maybe it's with that development director or the special events chair, Get on their calendar now because their, their calendar is going to fill up and it's much easier for you to be on there regularly every two weeks just to check in with them and cancel an appointment if you don't need it than it might be for you to get on their calendar later as everything starts to roll up for them and they get swamped. So there you have it. Plan introductions, actively recruit, and schedule your appointments now. The big thing is you want to take charge. Organize the troops. This is your chance to really get it set up for a successful auction fundraiser, whether you're in the fall or the spring. Good luck with that. Now, for other great information, you can visit our website. That's at redappleauctions.com. I'm telling you, if you're planning an auction fundraiser, there's no better place on the web for you to get fresh ideas and good information. Uh, one of the free gifts I got on there right now is our... What is it? Our auction item guide. It's the top 100 items that we are selling in auctions today that are selling for above value. So they're selling for more than what their stated value is. You can get that for free on the website, redappleauctions.com. Just put in your email. I'll instantly send it out to you and you can download it and share it at your first meeting when you're doing those introductions. That would be a good time to go through that. Thanks for watching.